Many people want to know how God talks. They want to know how God talks, and they want to know how to talk to God, and they get frustrated when they don't know what to say or how to talk to God. Jesus, he tells us in the Gospels to seek him through his Spirit, that the Spirit would lead us into all truth. It would remind us of things that Jesus said in the past, and also what he's going to do in the future. The Holy Spirit, Jesus says, specifically reminds us of sin. He tells us about righteousness and about judgment. Now, God can choose to speak to us in many different ways. He can choose to speak through the Holy Scriptures. He can choose to speak through specifically a person. He can even choose to speak through a donkey like he did in the Old Testament. I want to give you an example of how the Lord has spoken to me, and he spoke through the Holy Spirit um, using sin, sin that was in my life, and he used my wife to show me this. One night as I was, um, you know, getting ready for bed, I had an intimate time with my wife, and, and during this time, when you're married, you should be thinking only about your wife, but an, an ex-lover came into my mind that I thought about, and I had lusted with her. I'd never had sex with her in real life before, but I had pictured it before um, in my mind, and when I was in this intimate moment with my wife, I had that girl come to my mind, and instead of pushing it away and saying, I don't want that, in my mind, I decided to go with it while I was having this moment with my wife. I went with this moment, and I played through the images in my head of what this woman looked like and what I would do with her if she was there, and when I was done, I felt terrible. My wife went to sleep, and I lay in my bed, and I knew that the Lord was not pleased with me. So, what do I do when I sin? I, I say, God, I, I pray to you that you will forgive me. I want to repent of this sin, and that's exactly what I did. And uh, when I was single, it, it's a constant struggle. It's a constant struggle with, with lust. Many people struggle with pornography. They struggle with masturbation. They struggle with all these different things. And I was not outside of that. I struggled with those same things as well. Now, before I became married, I said to the Lord, I want to be completely pure for my marriage bed, and I want you to hold me to that. I want to be completely 100% pure. I don't want to be having fantasies of other women. I want to be completely pure for my marriage bed. And I knew at this moment what I had done. I had just broken um, that promise I made with the Lord, and I had intentionally chose to lust even in my marriage bed. So I, I prayed, I, when I went to bed, I said, Lord, forgive me of this. And I, after that, I felt like he had, and so I went to bed. I went to bed, I went to sleep, I woke up in the morning. That morning, I just said, Lord, I want to serve you today. I want you to speak to me um, what your truth is, and you know anything that you want to tell me, I want you to speak to me. My wife, my wife also woke up that morning, and she woke up and, and um, you know, um, she woke up and she spoke to me and said, Hey, I had this weird dream about you, um, Andy, and I think it's just a stupid dream. It's probably just my insecurity, but I, I dreamed of this girl that, you know, you've told me before was one of your ex-girlfriends, and I dreamed that in my dream, um, we were in this exact room, in our bedroom, and then, you know, um, that girl who was your girlfriend, um, she came into the room and she said, um, you know, um, she said her name and she said, I'm going to have sex with both of you tonight. And she proceeded to jump into our marriage bed and to have sex with the both of us that night. And she said, it was a disgusting dream. I don't know why I had it. I think it was stupid. You know, forgive me for having this. And she came at me like that. And, and I, I didn't tell her anything at the time because I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I know that the Holy Spirit has spoken to me through this, and I didn't want to tell her because I was embarrassed, but I knew absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt, because she even explained the different things that this, uh, you know, this girl had done, and the actions that I had pictured in my head when I was having this moment with my wife, and I knew it was the Holy Spirit of God speaking to me and saying, this is not acceptable for a child of God. If you want to be a part of 
of the kingdom of heaven. And if you want to be pure, you got to actually repent of these sins, not just say before you go to bed, sorry, sorry, Jesus, and then go to bed and do it again. you got to get it out of your life, and I knew it. I was fearful of God. I was fearful um, of the humiliation I had let him down, but also fearful that he could judge me if he wanted. And I repented of that moment and said, I, do, I don't ever want to have... Uh, fantasies like this. I don't want to lust again. And if I do, God, help me. I will go to prayer in you. I'll go to prayer with you and I will just beg you to take this away from me. Now, the point I'm at now, lust is still a struggle, but I am not a sinner in that area. Whenever it pops up, I pray and I say, Lord, I want to have no part in that. And as much as I possibly can, I do not let lust come into my mind, come into my house um, I don't even have a TV for that reason. Um, I have, as much as I possibly can, I stay away because I know my spirit is weak in the area of sexual temptation. And I tell myself, I know I'll probably even lust after that girl later if I take a second or third look. So I'm just, if I see her and she is a good looking gal, I'm just going to, I'm going to turn the other way. And that's what I'll do because I know I'm weak. I'll hold that image in my mind and later I will go and I will ponder that. And I want to be pure before the Lord. So I repent. And um, specifically in that time, the Holy Spirit chose to use my wife. He chose to use specific, um, even dirty uh, things that I had thought of. He even let her know what those things were. And I thought, man, I don't want to have to tell my wife every time I have a, a dirty thought. I don't want to have to tell my wife any of this. I want to repent, get this off my plate, and I want to be holy and pure before the Lord. So this is not the only way that the Holy Spirit speaks. It's one of many ways. He's spoken to me in many different ways that I want to share with you. But as a word of encouragement to you, um, Jesus does speak through the power of His Spirit when you seek Him with all your heart.